Hi there, Chris here. I got a couple of Avis padlocks here. Um, this is, of course, the Avis Rock with the cool black key. And so you have your Avis Rock, and then you have your Avis Silver Rock. It's a little 40 millimeter padlock. Uh, I think it's five pins. Here's the bidding on the key. I'm not sure why I put red on the key, but I did. And this is the core. And it actually, you can dump that core out. Well, dump, you probably don't want to dump it out, but you can remove it carefully, and we might do that. So let's see if I can pick it first. Uh, and then see if I can remove it and not have a disaster. Okay, I use light tension. I use this Sparrows, whatever it is, hook. It's dirty. And my homemade tension wrench, which is just a little windshield wiper insert. Little twist in it. And this is an Abus, so it's full of spools. So I'm just picking front to back, trying to get some sets. I have a little false set. Trying to get the back pin, which is not easy. Might have got it. Okay, I'm in a very deep false set, so I'm gonna come front to back and see who wants to be picked. Is that counter? Maybe counter on three. Might have got it set. Lost some of my false set. Coming back out front. I'm going to reset. That just didn't feel like what I wanted it to feel like. I got two set there. I thought it was set, but it wasn't. And I think that was three. Although thinking with Abus pins is probably not, <laughs> it's probably more like wishful thinking. Working on trying to get five, six, no six, five. Lost something up front. Sheesh, it's having its way with me here. Definitely has got me going. And there we go. I got it going. We have an open. Come on. So, if you look in here, you look down in here, and I'll try to find a light. You can see that little shiny pin sticking out this way. And if you poke on that, 
and push down on the cord, you can get it to come out carefully. And I usually use a little screwdriver, <coughs> pardon me, which should be sitting here, but it's not. Sometimes you can do it with a pick. So I will try and do it with a pick. Reach in there and get behind it. That's the hard part. Getting behind that little pin. Um, doo -dum, doo -dum, dum -dum -dum. Shoot. Cleaned up my table and I can't find anything. Oh, here it is. All right. Okay, I've started it out. And see, our, our shackle has popped, or whatever you call it. But that's okay. So I. Get a pinning tray over here. So this is the part you gotta be really careful about because the springs are just right there. So there's a spring and we're gonna dump him out. And I'll straighten these up in a minute. So I just sort of hold my finger over there. These springs aren't too bad. It's the that little silver pin that's a, a really a killer. That one is very strong. I gutted this once and <laughs> just sucker popped out and the whole thing hit the ceiling. So that was kind of cool. Oops, I think we got that correct. All right, this is a really skip. <laughs> okay, so that's like seven feet over the other side of the room. Um, but really, all it is is a spring and a, a pin. <laughs> and so uh, that happens. I'll get that, or I'll make the cats get it. So, to put it back together, wait, first we'll look at it. We'll look at all these guys. These are the pins. Oh, not those guys, and not that guy. Along with cat hair. Anyway, so, The first one is kind of a serrated one, um, and it's standard up top, and then you have a standard and a spool, 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 and, and these little springs. Then you have that cap that shut off. Um, and then to put this back together, you can see the actuator in there. What you need, I thought I just saw it. Oh, I had it. Um, it's one of these little screws that come out of, that come with Euro cylinders. And what you wanna do is get this, this guy turned around if you can. And I like the pointed ones. They're not all pointed, but I like the pointed ones because it helps you start and get that around. And once you get it around and in there, 
If you look very closely, you can see the little cutouts on either side. And you just leave this, this screw in there so when you put the, the core back in, wherever it is, oh, it's these two pieces. When you put that back in, which goes like, all right, sorry, I'm off camera. But you do the reverse of how I took it apart and you shove it all the way down there, turn the key and uh, that will pick up the little paws and it will go back together. Anyway, that's how that all works. It's a very cool little lock and it's, I think it's a four on the scale, but um, it's, it's a challenging little pick. And this little thing, which I dropped, this little pin goes diagonally. I've been having a lot of talk about diagonal pins across this back here. And I think it's um, anti-bypass. So that's that lock. Thanks for watching. Um, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Certainly make a comment. Uh, I did not figure this out on my own. I have to thank Foxy for posting a video on how to do this and what to watch out for um, and how to get it back together. So thank you, Foxy, and we will see you all next time.